On this episode of Common Mystics, we are celebrating our 100th episode. I'm Jennifer James. I'm Jill Stanley. We're psychics. We're sisters. We are Common Mystics. We find extraordinary stories in ordinary places, but today we have a special trivia show. That's right, Jennifer. Welcome, everyone, to our 100th episode of Common Mystics, and today we are celebrating this very special milestone with a trivia game show. Competing contestants are from our Tier 4 Mentorship patrons, so please let's welcome in our folks. They're waiting right now. Okay. Hello. Hello. We have... Our competition going. Yay! So, please, I'm going to start with Lisa. Oh, God. I'm going to fail. <laughs> okay, this, this is the rules, guys. So, if, the, if you need to phone a friend, if you're saying, I need to phone a friend, you're asking Jennifer for a hint. Okay? okay. So, okay. we have Lisa, we have Kelly, we have Jason, and we have Edmund. Does Jason even know that w- what we're doing tonight? I, I know. I don't think I'm going to do that well, but I, I'm aware. Yay. So just a reminder, there is 30 questions in our first round. Okay. And so there are 30 questions in our first round. The points for the first round are two points a question. If you need to ask Jennifer for help, you will get half the point value if you're able to answer the question. Okay. And so we have the three categories, making of the mystics, destination episodes, and more voices episodes. Now, as a reminder, the three highest scores in round one will move on to round two. If there is a tie, we will do a tiebreaker question to see who is going to advance. Okay. Are you ready for round one? (laughs) No. (laughs) I think I missed part of it. So do you ask us each individually or do we just jump in? I am going to ask you first. I'm going to go. This is my order. (laughs) It's going to be the order in which you were added to the Zoom call. And I did everyone at once. But this is Mm -hmm. how you popped up on my screen. Okay. So Lisa, Jason, Kelly, Edmund. That's our order. And if you can see, I'm sharing my screen with you. You can pick any of these questions. So if you want to go more voices, question number six, let me know. That's where we'll go. And that'll be your question. (laughs) So it's a little like Jeopardy. Oh, Jennifer, you will be keeping score? Yes, yes. But other people can also help keep score if you wish. (laughs) Yes, Kelly. Do we have to answer in a question format? No, you do not. (laughs) No, you do not. Okay. If we want to, can Good we? Good question. <laughs> okay, Lisa, you're first. Pick a box. Thank you, Alex. I would say <laughs> making of the mystics number two. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So, when did Jill start using her spideys? When she oh, she was super young. I but I don't know the age. I'm gonna say seven. I think super young is accurate enough. Always born with it. Okay. Woo-hoo. Okay. Next, we have Jason. Did he log oh. off? No, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame him if he did. It's like, where did we lose Jason? <laughs> I'm going to go with making of the mystics number seven. Okay. Oh. Surprisingly ambitious. At which <laughs> method of divination was the girl's mother an expert at? Astrology. Ding, 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 ding. Very good. Good job. See, and you thought that they were going to be too hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you're up. Uh, making of the mystics number six. Okay. Which famous person did the girls jokingly consider to be their father? Elvis. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> True. True story. That is a true story. Edmund, you're up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, making of the Mystics Four. Okay, here we go. Who is older, Jen or Jill? Uh, Jen. Yep. 
Ding, 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 ding. Who's more mature? Jen. Jen or Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and we're back to Lisa. All right, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do more voices number three. Gotcha. How exciting. Okay. And Jill, all of these, all of these are all two points each, right? Yep, two points okay. each, unless okay. they phone you to ask. Okay. For are the answer. results certified by Price Waterhouse? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're certified by Jennifer and some shady ass math, so we'll have to check it out. Okay. <laughs> what was the name of the Native American warrior that came through to the sisters with a message of unity? I need to phone a friend. Jennifer, you're up. Uh, now I was supposed to give her a hint. Uh-huh. Or the answer. Um, or the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes with Nakumsa. I can't even get it from that. That's really scary. It um, rhymes okay. with Nakumsa. Change the first letter. That's what I'm trying to do. It's like, but to what? Change it to a T. <laughs> you got it. You Yay! got it. Yay. <laughs> That's a negative one. <laughs> okay. That was a hard one. That Jill was, made some of these hard. Yes, I, had made some I, of I had to look up some of these. Okay. Jason? Yeah, now I'm scared. I'm going back to making of the mystics. Right. I'm going to do making of the mystics number one. Okay. What is the name of the sister's aunt who's passed on? I know this, but I can't remember. Jeannie. Yes. <laughs> good job. That was a good hint. That was a very yeah. good hint. Okay, we have Kelly. Yeah, making 10. Making of the Mystics 10. Okay, what is Jen's preferred modality or tool when connecting with spirit? Tarot. Ding, 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 ding. Good job. All right, Edmund. Making of the Mystics for 300. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> On what religion were the girls raised? Catholicism. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. Lisa. I'm going back to making of the mystics. Let's do number nine. Number nine. In 2012, a significant member, family member passed away, and this person made Jennifer feel safe to use her abilities. Who was that person? Was the grandma? Yes. Grandma? Ding, 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 ding. Okay. And we have Jason. Well, I still have a little bit of safety left, so I'm going to use it. How about <laughs> making number five? All right. Which famous psychic did the girls meet? See, this is why I'm terrible at trivia. I know. <laughs> I just don't remember. It's okay. It's okay. Uh. I'm here if you want to phone a friend. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Phone a friend. Okay. She was on... I'm having trouble. She was on a The Haunting of on TV, if that helps. Her first name is Kim... Italian? <laughs> Kim Italian. That's, that was not her last name. Her last name no. rhymes with uh, Tuso. Kim... <laughs> Russo? Yes! yes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> These hints are fantastic, by the way. She'll write these questions all on her own. <laughs> <laughs> They're good questions. Okay. They are good, but some of them are hard. That's why you're here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Kelly. All right, I'm going to go last eight. All right. Who's taller, Jen or Jill? Jill. <laughs> All right. Now we got those out of the way. <laughs> Edmund. Destination episode number one. Okay. On the first ever episode of Common Mystics, from what location did the girls lead to find their story? Leave. Leave. Where did we leave? Where did we oh. leave? We were at one of our houses. Oh, I know. Then you would have. It was you would have left um, from Hastings or yeah. Jill's house. 
Ding, 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 ding. I knew I knew you branched out. It was from Michigan. I knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not upset, Edmund. You did great. <laughs> yeah. We're like, so proud of you, Edmund. You, good you job. Did a really good just, job. Yeah. Lisa. You didn't need any hints, Edmund, so I think you're doing just fine. <laughs> I counted that as a hint, though, because Jennifer said. Because you, no. you said. Okay, all right, all right, all yep, right. No, all right. I'm good. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Lisa. I want Destinations episodes number one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'll do number two, destination. Episode. Okay, number two. In episode 10, while visiting their sister, Kim, in Tennessee, about whom did the girls find a story that they were hesitant to share? So we found a story that we're like, fuck no, we're not doing this. That was somebody we didn't want. It's like a bad guy. It was like a, a, a group. group. It of was people. like a, a group of people who okay. needed a voice, and we did not want to give this group a voice. It was because it was soldiers. Yes, yes. You oh did so gosh. good. Look at you. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, Jason. Thanks, Lisa. That's amazing. <laughs> Remember, I had to phone a friend. <laughs> I didn't count that as phone a friend. Oh, you did that okay. on your own. She was just describing my shitty question. She was like a group, a group of people. <laughs> because I didn't want her to think she had to come up with the name of a yeah, specific yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. I'm going to do destination number three. All right. So which recently released movie directed by Martin Soskazy? Am I saying that right? Soskazy. No, Scorsese. <laughs> Thank you. Tells the story <laughs> of season two, episode nine, The Troubled Spirits of Osage <laughs> County. Okay. I uh, couldn't that, even remember this. Don't one. even. You know so, it, Jason. Um, Just- the movie is. Uh, you know it. I know you know it. I d- yeah. I actually just saw it. Oh, oh shut uh, up right now. If you um, give me the two main actors, male- well, flower, flower moon, flower yes, moon, something. Yes, yes, yes. I'm Killers accepting. of the flower moon. Yes, you did it. Yes, you did it. <laughs> oh yes. my God. I can't believe it. Great job. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Yeah. Kelly. Destinations four. Oh, they're going to order. Okay. The daughter of which famous writer came through to the girls in Elmira, New York? I can see him. Mark Twain. Yes. Good job. Oh, nice. Wow. All right. Do you know that's the episode when I'm introducing you guys to different to people like members that I uh that I see as patients? Aw. So age wise though, that's one that's gonna and I always get them started on that one. Thank you. It's a gateway episode. <laughs> For them, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Edmund. Thank you, Edmund. What it's a gateway episode for the are you saying age wise? What do you mean? For like Yeah, because people? again, it's it's something that would interest a lot of them. <laughs> it's your turn. Think about it. We're traveling rural it. Michigan. Okay. Yeah, you got that subject matter. All I right? love it. Thank you. <laughs> we have a gateway episode to the elderly. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> must, elderly rural Michigander. It Elder, must not have had a lot of Michiganders. It must not have had a lot of swearing in that episode. I don't remember. You got to ease them in. You got to ease them into the whole thing. Okay. No, that's perfect. Thank you. Edmund, where do you want to go from here? What's your next question? Oh, oh, let's go to uh, more, more voices for more voices for season three, episode three three was about children being taken from Eastern cities into rural America. What was the transportation known as? Orphan train. Yes. Oh my ah. God. I was going to say trail of tears, but that was it. <laughs> That's amazing. Lisa. This is where it just goes downhill. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to. Let everybody know that. Let's do more voices 10. More voices 10. Here we are. And you know, you guys know these are not in order of difficulty yeah. from one yeah. to 10. Okay, good. Okay. In episode 90 about the Grimes sisters, what was the movie the girls were last seen watching at the theater? And if you don't know the movie, I will take the star of the movie. I want to say Halloween. I'm wrong. I know. It's okay. 
It's That's okay. okay. That's it's okay. 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 Would okay. you so, like a hint? So now it's safe for everybody. Uh, oh, do, I, <laughs> do you like to phone a friend? Yeah, phone a phone. a friend for a partial point. Sure. Jill, would you like to give Lisa a hint? Sure. A real hint. Oh. You it's, have made my life, life com- complete. complete. Oh, and, Elvis movie. Yes, yes. I'll take um, it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's an Elvis movie. She literally oh. said, can I have a real hint? <laughs> <laughs> did I say it? Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she did. It out loud? You know what? It's fair. It out- That's fair, okay. Lisa. I it- thought maybe Jill was reading my mind. <laughs> no, no, no. That was fair. That was it's love real. me tender. That's what we were humming and then singing to you. Yeah. Love me tender. And it, we meant it too. We meant it. <laughs> Jason, that was you. No, we didn't. <laughs> Jason, don't be. Don't make it weird, Jill. All right. Don't Sorry, it's Lisa. Weird. Not weird. It's already weird. Don't worry. <laughs> Jason, where are we going from here? How about more voices number one? Okay. Who was the spirit Jennifer was flirting with in the car, season really? two, episode 10? Oh. So I listened to that. And I don't remember <laughs> Poor anybody Jason. flirting. So I you don't know. know. What? I was doing the flirting and I could not remember his name until I looked at this question and had to had to see the answer. His name, his first name is James. His last name rhymes with Heckworth, <laughs> but with the B. <laughs> I, James, what was the what was the wrong name? Heckworth. Heckworth, Heckworth with a B. Heckworth. Yes. yes. Very good. I I don't remember that. Yeah, oh, she was okay. flirting AF. That. She was playing with I her hair. Her flirting. I he was kind of hot. Name. She, it was yeah. like a whole thing. She was like speed dating spirit. I was like, come back to me, Jen. Come back. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Kelly. We can get more voices too. All right. More voices too. Who is Laura Jackson's famous brother? Michael. Oh. <laughs> 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 good that is answer the funniest that thing the, i've ever heard <laughs> that is the best ever <laughs> oh my god do you want a phone a friend or yes please okay <laughs> it, it there's a wall jackson <laughs> what kind of wall was jackson was he a wooden wall or was like he a, a plastic wall, wall? <laughs> was he a mason wall or was he a rock wall, a stone, <laughs> a river pebble wall, river wall? What? <laughs> Poor Kelly. Um, <laughs> the answer is. Wait, wait. Are you giving up? Flintstones. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Corey. He was a Confederate soldier who worked along Robert E. Lee. And his name was Blank Wall. Huh? What? No, it wasn't Andrew. Was it Andrew Jackson? No. 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 No, but he but there was an Andrew Jackson. There he was. There sure was. What do you what do you not throw at win at glass windows? (laughs) Rocks. But if they were bigger manufactured rocks, what would they be? No. Close. Oh, after you smoke a joint, you're <laughs> you got it. Say it, Kelly. A roach. <laughs> no. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. no. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. I'm dead. I'm we're just gonna say a zero. Does someone want to yell it out? Stone. Stonewall. 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 Okay. But you did good, Kelly. It was it was amusing, if nothing else. I really appreciated the effort. Entertainment point. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I absolutely. Uh, Edmund, it's your turn. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And I'm not stuck. It's just endorphins. <laughs> Wait until the speed round. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's do uh, uh destination episode number five. All right. In episode 50, the voiceless spirits of Print Matthews connected with the girls. 
what civic duty was he performing when he was gunned down? Voting. Yes. Yes. Very it was. good. Ding ding ding. Ding 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 ding. I just remember how horrid it was. It just clicked. Yes. Mm. Good job. All right. Lisa, we're back to you. Okay. Let's do more voices nine. All right. More voices nine. In episode 60, Mary Japer escaped from an area that is now known as what state park? It's a ridiculous name that we said more than we should have during the episode because it's so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. State park. Mm -hmm. Can you give me the state? Yeah, but that's not going to help you. Okay. Kentucky. It's three words. The first word, three words. First Mm -hmm. one is (laughs) big. The second one is blank. (laughs) The third is lick. (laughs) It's not what I think it is. It's no. probably what you think oh, it probably, is. Probably, it probably is. It's probably what you think it is. No, no, no. Oh yes, Why yes, yes. Wait, they would name a park that. Well, you'd be surprised. Why don't you say it and we'll tell you? If, no, if... because I'm too, I'm too embarrassed to say it. Because if I'm wrong, you guys are going to be like, oh, we may accept no, they, it. We may accept it as the right answer. <laughs> Because you're not modest, wrong. Edmund, can, you just, can, you just, can you whisper it, Edmund? <laughs> Edmund yeah, can you whisper it, Edmund? Um, um, is he going to whisper it? I'm waiting. I did. Can you give me the first letter of the middle word? B. B. Oh. It's what you so, think it is. I'm not telling. No. It, it, it really is what you're thinking it is. There are a couple here. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. I feel like now I'm um, confused. I feel, it's well, making I'm, it worse. <laughs> yeah, her modesty is going to really get okay. kicked in. No, no, no. I thought the middle one was a D. No, it's a B. Oh, close. We would have accepted. We would have accepted. We would have accepted that. So D. D. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Big say, ball lick. Big bone lick. Big we would have okay. accepted the D. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Am I getting any points for that one at all? One point. Okay. No, I mean, we didn't give Kelly points for the last. Yeah, I wouldn't give her. Yeah, but I didn't oh, okay. get that either. Okay. But we would have accepted the we deal. Would, we were really okay. hoping you would have said. Big but you know, Lisa, <laughs> that it was, was valuable. What we were asking you for. <laughs> That's what we were after, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. It was valuable watching you struggle with your modesty. Oh. I enjoyed that. <laughs> any any oh. synonym we would have taken. Any synonym. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Penis, we were looking for. <laughs> oh my god! And so Jason, it's it's up to you. <laughs> Following that up now, but we have no. again, again, Lisa, thanks. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do more voices number five. All right. Why did the girls create the More Voices series? To speak for those that couldn't speak that were un- that had injustice or unjust things happen to them. You know, I will accept that. Yeah. Yeah. That's but true. It's, it's that's true and it was based on the notes we took in the road that we already found an episode for, but another voiceless came through that we couldn't say goodbye to. So we did the more voices. Mm-hmm. Okay. I very well done, Jason. <laughs> Kelly. Well, yeah, because you gave you gave it to me. Basically, no, it wasn't the no, answer at no, all. No, no, like, no, it really it. was. No, it, it really was. was. Kelly, gonna go destination six. Destination six. All right. So, for every episode, what is the girl's intention to find a story? To find a verifiable story that they don't know anything about to give voice to the voiceless. Yeah. Wow. Girl, you got it. And Kelly, thanks. Voice to the voiceless was what I was looking for, but I was just all, oh, oh. <laughs> you did I great. I it a lot because I'm trying to encourage people to listen. Oh, thank Aww. you. Mm-hmm. Edmund. Yes. It's your um, turn. Let's try more voices number six. More voices number six. Okay. 
about which city on the East Coast did the sisters dedicate an entire episode to due to the amount of restless spirits of the city? Give me a second. I know what I want to say, but... Baltimore? No. Close. Do you want to phone a friend first before you give up? I'll phone a friend. I'll phone a friend. Jennifer? Uh, This city has a two-word name, and it is a big casino town. Oh, oh, oh. um, Atlantic. uh, Yep. Yep. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Yeah. We'll accept it. So, Jill, how many points? That's a one-pointer. That is a a one-pointer. That's a one-pointer. And now we're back to Lisa. Okay. I'm going to (laughs) do... Destination Episodes 9. Okay, here we are. In episode 54, Portals to Murder, what was the name of the town in which the girls felt transported back in time? I remember this one. Um, It was in the South, Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, Was it a major town? No, it's small. No, I'm never. It's small and hard to remember. It's small and a compound (laughs) word. It's um, it is a compound word. It's, it's, it's very a good, small... Jill. Yeah. <laughs> good I job, you Jill. Say. I swear to Christ, she was <laughs> proofreading my work, and she was like, "Oh my God, your dyslexia is so cute right now." Oh my god! I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" It was so cute, you guys. She's oh, a I'll professional. Tell you later. She's a professional. Only someone that's being tutored by a teacher <laughs> yeah. would come out with the statement "compound word." Oh, God. <laughs> Anyway, um, um, it is. I need to phone a friend. I need to phone a friend. Okay, Jennifer. Let's see. <laughs> so the the second part is way. So it's two parts to the word blank. Ridgeway. Ridgeway. Yes. Yay! 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 That was right. good. That's one point. She got it. With she got uh-huh. it. Woo-hoo. Jason. About destination seven. Destination seven. Here we go. What is the first name of the very first spirit the girls connected with that inspired them to add giving voice to the voiceless to their intention? Oh, I don't remember her name. Can you tell us something about her? She wasn't she the one that was she was a servant that was murdered. The, and they the, covered it up. I will accept it. I will mm-hmm. accept it. Yeah. She was the servant, Gertie Blythe. Gertie. Gertrude. <laughs> Bay. And B- Bay. Bly- her last name. It's, it's spelled differently. And, <laughs> and yeah, she was shot. And we yep. believe that she committed suicide because of her relationship with Frank Smith. Right. Yes. Jill, how many points? That was a two that pointer. That was a two point. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do uh, Destinations 8. All right. What famous late night talk show host family members perished in the crash of Eastern Flight 212? Talk show host. Late night talk show host. He lost his father and two brothers. On this crash. On this crash. How far back are we going? Oh, wait. Well, he's currently. Oh, he's wait. Is he still, is yeah, he still, he's still on doing TV it. now? He's still he? doing it. Yeah. Well, I never watch him, but Jill says so, so. Do you want a hint? Yes. He's the only late night Steven. So you got the two Jimmy. Oh, Stephen Colbert. Yes. Yay. Okay. All right. And Isn't that Eddie. crazy, by the way? I know. Yeah, that is. Yeah. So crazy. Okay. Sorry. Ed, Jill. Who? Oh, me. Yeah. Oh, Edmund. <laughs> Ed Jill, Edmund, Jennifer? why do you why do you look like you're in witness protection sometimes? Like going, <laughs> I did that look, on purpose. I was I was in the yard putting up a pool all day. I look like shit. Oh, stop <laughs> it! For I, us, I, you're so done, sweet. Come after on. I got done, I took a shower and I went and laid down in bed and I woke up to come in. Oh, thank you We're for being so honored. here. Thank you. I look, I was like, I need to be in dim lights. You are so, f- you literally look like we're questioning you about a bust we did. Like, how do you know P. Diddy? Like that. I, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> well, I was trafficked by him for years. 
That's why I look so old. How about? I'm so sorry. No, no, it's fair. You know, I'm half. <laughs> I'm a little sleepy, so it makes it even more interesting talking to me. How about Destinations episodes for ten? Okay, dokie. In episode seventy-two, discovering Blackbeard, what did the sisters come to believe about the famous pirate? He was fabulous. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he sure was. He was gay. Yes, but... he sure was. <laughs> so sorry. I'm, yes, I'm it's all uncensored. the above. All the I'm above. very uncensored at the moment. That was well done. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. We are so excited to unveil the first book in our series entitled Common Mystics Present Ghost on the Road, Volume 1, Murders and Mysterious Deaths. It's everything you love about Common Mystics and more. It's a retelling of 10 of our favorite stories from our pod with exciting extras. Extras like souvenirs, what we took away from the experience, and what to know if you go if you decide to travel in our footsteps. Pre-order the Kindle edition now. All other formats of the book will be available for purchase at Amazon.com on July 1st, 2023. Thanks, guys. Now back to the show. We have Lisa. All right. Let's go for more voices eight. All right. In season two, episode three, the story of York. What was the name of the miracle medicine that was believed to cure all? Now, Lisa, if you don't remember this name, you can tell us what the side effect of the medicine was, and we will give you both of those points. Oh, well, the side effect was death. I don't know. Um, Which starts with a D. Does start with a D. Oh, diarrhea. Yes. Yes. (laughs) The medicine was called Thunderbolts. Oh, <laughs> and I never would have gotten that. They would give it to you for anything, but it would just make you have diarrhea all over the wilderness of this country. <laughs> it's the only thing it did. Okay. It fertilized. Oh, Jason, this is you. Well, I think Kelly and I should flip for it. <laughs> <laughs> we have tiebreaker questions. So I have two okay. other questions for them in case they okay. want to go. Okay. Okay. Now, in episode 77, the ire of Reverend Sharp, the leader of what religious group was killed? We dedicated, an ent- and this is not a hint, so you'll still get the two, but we dedicated another entire episode about these groups of people, this group of people. Oh. Almost broke the podcast. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to have to ask for a hint. Okay. I got to phone a friend. Mitt Romney. Uh, Mormons. Yes. Yeah. How did it break the internet? I mean, we got in the biggest fight. Remember we released two versions of the episode. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you guys want two questions that I have prepared for tiebreakers? You should, because that would make it fair that all four of them had the same number. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how, okay. In, Oh, so is this for Kelly? This is for Kelly under making of the mystics. What is our group? Arena. I will accept it. Okay. Arena. Arena. Yeah. But it's Irene. Okay. Very good. I didn't even hear the question. Yeah, she didn't finish it. She just read it. It's on the screen. <laughs> she just read it. Oh, okay. What is it? Um, the tiebreaker question: What was the name of their first, their grandmother's first name? Okay. Oh, it just popped. Okay. Okay, and then here's yours. Uh, Edmund. Who was Edmund? Who played Jill as the leading lady? <laughs> Who played the leading lady in Killers of the Flower Moon? If, I have an. If you don't, have a hint? yes. It's a flower, and it starts with an L, a flower. And this was a hard one, so let me give you a different one. Lily? Oh, Lily. my gosh. Very good. Yes. I'll take it. Lily Gladstone. That's all I know. 
<laughs> it's Lily Gladstone. Okay, I thought that question okay. was too hard. I've never heard of Lily Gladstone. That before. was the tiebreaker question. I, I wasn't know, expecting to same. use it. I never saw, and I never saw the. I movie. never saw it either, Jill. <laughs> Let's get angrier. This is like no one stoned Alex Trebek after leaving <laughs> the studio. Okay, so calm down. Okay, Alex had better Roached Alex. Here he died. <laughs> <laughs> it was non-contestant related, though. Oh, okay. Jill, I have the point breakdown so far after round one. Okay. And what is yours? It looks like we have a tiebreaker for me. Yes. I have Lisa with 10. I have okay. Jason Jason with 11. Mm-hmm. And then I have Kelly and Edmund both with 13. Okay. So now I have to come up with the tiebreaker question. Give me one Oh, second. God. Tiebreaker question. Okay. What was the breakdown between the male and female children that our grandma Irena Irina had in our family? It's a trick one. They were all girls. All female, yeah. Yeah, Okay, so that's another. Okay, (laughs) one more. Can't we just have them all go on to round two? All right, we're all going all right, on. We're all going on to round, round two. I got right, that let's one. Let's all go to round two. We're all I got that tiebreaker. <laughs> we can go back. I'll get it. <laughs> okay, we're all going on to round two. That's probably a better idea. Oh, good. You made it bigger. I can make it bigger because no, now I only have five yeah, questions. That's good. Okay. All <laughs> right, five questions each category. And we're at Lisa again. Let's do Famous Friends one. What Pot, famous podcaster did the girls consider the grandmother of their pod grandmother famous podcaster grandmother. oh point values have now tripled by the way oh, no pressure <laughs> um have you waited famous? your whole life to say that my whole life i said it twice today <laughs> i need to phone a friend okay she is a co-host of the Enlightened Empaths okay. podcast. podcast. Yeah, I thought, I thought that's who it was. Um, I know it's not Samantha Faye. She's got two podcasts, mm-hmm. though. Correct. And I can't. So there's two women that she, and I'm trying to remember. Um, Denise. Yes, I'll accept it. The answer the C. Yes. Okay. Yep. okay. Denise Correll. Yeah. Yes. Okay, jokey. Now, Jason, where, yes. where where would you like to go from here? Oh, I have to pick. That's yes. right. I'm sorry. Let's do Making of the Mystics number five. Okay. What was our Aunt Jeannie's love language? I'm going to have to phone a friend. I, I'm sure it's going to be something completely obvious as soon as I remember what it is, but I don't know. Jennifer, do you want to take this? Um, I saw Kelly nodding. Maybe Kelly can can give him a hint. Oh, shopping. Oh, oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So shopping, what would you call it, um, Jason? Spending. What would I? She's a giver, spender. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah she'd buy you. Yeah, don't buy you lots of. <laughs> no, you're getting a point. No, I yeah. don't. Does Jason All get right. a point? Jason gets a point. No, Even, I don't think Jason should get a point. Jason, you're getting a point. We're all winners Jason, here. Jason, take the point, Just Jason. Take the point. You showed up, Jason. Participation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kelly. Do making number two. How many children did Grandma Arena have? It's either nine or seven. Ooh, Ooh. do you want to phone a friend? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can count them on one hand, and it's the same number of kids our mother had. Don't count the thumb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Correct. Audience, in case you didn't hear, that was Kelly laughing for very <laughs> loud. <laughs> All right. Edmund. Oh, making of the mystics, number one. Okay. How do the girls refer to their manifesting process? It usually involves 
liquor. Oh. <laughs> 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 Toxicated manifesting. Wine. I'll give it to him. Yes. I'll give it to him. Yes. <laughs> what? Drunk. Toxic. It's drunk manifesting. Drunk manifesting. Drunk. Oh, that's drunk. right. That's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. And it works. I love it. I love it. It does I work. Lo- you got to be careful, though. <laughs> Well, well, I would think it would work with man- manifesting. I does I don't know that it, it it probably is the best way to. You might end up with a goat. <laughs> you don't want. <laughs> you, you might have a headache like a morning after. <laughs> I I brought this. Exactly. Never uh, mind, Lisa. I'm doing making of the mystics three. All right. How do the girls refer to the mother of Jesus? The Blessed Mother. Yay! Is that what you call her too, Lisa? No, but when I was in Rome, I lost my phone. Oh. And I'm standing in the middle of the street and looking up, there was a, a statue and I called her the Blessed Mother after you guys. Oh. And I just said, Blessed Mother, help me find my phone. Two days later, the car people called me and my iPhone was saying it wasn't in the car. My Apple phone was saying it wasn't in the car. So I didn't think it was there. It was in the car. I got oh, it back. Yay. So, yay. It was my little miracle in Rome. Yeah. And I remembered the Blessed Mother. Though. That makes me so happy. Yeah. Jason? Well, I'm going to take the making number four before it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> As children, what bakery item did the girls eat out of trash bags like uh, raccoons? Ooh. <laughs> and I wish I, this was not a real question. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my memory like this? Um, That's still such a sweet question. I don't. I. I don't remember. It's a something out of a bakery, like a donut shop, that the ingredient would have apple strudel. Oh, the, what? Well, that's a good. That would that's turnover. A, I. I would say strudel. I would count strudel. I don't. I. When it's sh- not the same. All right. Well, a strudel is not anyone, the same. Anyone else want to answer just for fun? Fritter? Oh, fritter? Oh, yes, it's a fritter. Oh, oh they're awful. Oh, they're terrible. My husband brought some home and I thought he literally was punking me. I was like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kelly. Let's go famous too. In which city did the girls meet Nicole Bigley? Oh, hell. Was it in Chicago? Starts with a C and she's in Ohio. Oh. Cincinnati. Yes. yes. Good. Okay. I knew it was a C. Okay. And you knew it was the Midwest. Yeah. Okay. Edmund. Well, let's see what's a destination number two. <laughs> destination number two is in episode 49, along which river did Samuel Wolfman Mason travel and hide out on. Rick, it's coming back again, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't get away from it. <laughs> oh, um, Sammy Mason, give me. I only know one river. That's the problem. Um, I'm gonna have to take a hint. Can I give him a hint? Yes, give him a hint. Four letter name begins with an O, ends with an O. Also a, <laughs> also a state. Awesome. Oh, Ohio. <laughs> Very good. Okay. All right, Lisa, you're up. All right, let's do Famous Friends 3. Famous Friends 3. What famous ghost hunter was featured on Common Mystics to discuss the Dones game? Oh. Say that again. What famous ghost hunter? So she was on all these ghost hunter shows, like par- uh, okay. Paranormal State. Oh, I can see Paranormal her. Paranormal Lockdown. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And it was the one in her own house? Or yes, own- she was in her yeah. own house when we interviewed her. Oh, I can totally see her, but I can't think of her name. Um, okay, how about this? And this is not a hint, so you'll get full points, but her name okay. kind of sounds Russian. I think it's German. Eastern Sorry. European. <laughs> Starts with a K. Uh, Meow. Uh, 
<laughs> Kitty? Kitty something? Um clothes. When a kitty grows up, it becomes oh. a cat. Oh, uh, Katrina? Yes! Katarina, yes! Katarina. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Katrina Weedman. Did I get it? Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to give one point to that one just because. Okay. Um, Jason. I am going for Destination 3, please. Destination 3. Ooh, Destination 3. Which North American city was the first to host a witch trial? Salem. That's what I thought. Do you want to phone a friend? Well, since my friend thought that also, but <laughs> okay. You have another friend here. Her name's Jennifer. She's the Hi, smarter Jennifer. of my friends. Hi. Hi. I, I'm going to phone you. Okay. Then. Phone me. It's actually in Connecticut. And it starts with the first syllable is heart. Hartford. Yes. Yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. I didn't know that either I before. I didn't know that didn't either that. until we did the episode. Yeah. I just did it. Or I just listened to I it. Only, when I think of Hartford, I just think of insurance. No. <laughs> I think Gilmore Girls. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, I, I love know Gilmore that. Girls. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. I reckon I'll go Famous Four. Famous four. Here we go. On episode 64, author and accomplished storyteller T.I. Shippers joined the girls in the car in which Michigan city? Detroit. <laughs> close. Very close. Close. Well, y'all were sitting there doing <laughs> this. Aretha, the car factories Aretha, on. Aretha Franklin. Uh -huh. It's a car. It's, it's a, a type, type of car. car. Made in Detroit. Ford. Close. Um, Shit. Aretha, Fla Aretha Franklin sang a song about it. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a car. Edmund, would you like to give her? Yeah. A pink Cadillac. Cadillac. Oh, Cadillac. Yeah, Cadillac, Michigan. 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 No, but I do listen to Spooked because of her now. She's amazing. <laughs> She's so she wonderful. Really so yeah. good. Um, I like the, 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 the I like the beginning of that, that boom on Spooked. Yes. It shakes yeah. the speakers in my car. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I She's love great. her episode with the Roadhouse Bar. That oh my was my God. favorite. Yes. So good. Yeah, that's just amazing. Freaky. Um, Edmund, it's your turn. Famous friends for five. Tickle finger of fate. <laughs> okay. Which famous outlaw do the sisters believe to fathered a son in Nebraska? Famous outlaw. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Like the famous outlaw. Uh -huh. wait, wait, wait. Um, just hold on. I, I was going to, I'll tell you what I was going to say afterward. Um, give me a second. Um, it's always harder when it's their turn. You know, mm -hmm. you, you draw a blank. John Bon Jovi sang about it. it does, that won't help me at all. <laughs> <laughs> do you want? Do you want a hint? Um, it's, yeah. It. He has the same letters. Uh, he has the same initials as Jennifer James, and we share a last name. James. <laughs> James Dean? No, Jimmy. That's what. But I mean, the first thing that went through my mind. Was Jimmy D James Dean? I mean, I know, and I know that's not right. Um, His last name is James. His last name is James. Short for Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse James. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> but the, you know what happened? Literally, James Dean was the first thing that came to my head, and I couldn't get it's it out. It's a James, yeah. Uh, mm. And it has nothing to do with anything. I mean, he wasn't an outlaw. Oh, okay. is that is that a point or a zero, Jill? No, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's zero. Okay. It's zero. I'm sorry, zero. Edmund. Wow. But we love, we love you. We love you, Edmund. Have, <laughs> we have <laughs> we have three more questions. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are great, Jill. These are great. <laughs> well, okay. We, Lisa. Yes. What I'm gonna like? take 
Destinations one, please. Which episode does this, did the sisters fight about that nearly ended the podcast? Uh, you don't have to give like the number or anything. Just like I know, but I what are we worry fighting over? Um, you were fighting over who the voiceless was. Yeah, in a sense, or, but it was a religious yeah. group, oh. and we really oh. disagreed on the take, and we really just talked about it. It was just the it was the Mormon. Yeah. Um, mm. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah, that one. Yep, <laughs> that's it. Okay, yay. All right, Jason. I want that question. <laughs> um, number five. Number five. In episode ninety-eight, we learned that Rebecca Cornell is the fifth great grandmother of what famous murder suspect? Hi, Jen, calling you again. Hi, Jason. <laughs> she gave her mother 40 wax. And when, and when she, she saw, saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Or Topsy Turvy, uh, I don't know who it's she the other way Elizabeth around. Borden. A, yes. Ooh, Elizabeth, all formal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you guys were that close. <laughs> okay. Kelly? All right, I got four. Uh, or I can make up a question on the spot. So it can be a random Jill make up a question or it can be number four. Why is that all of a sudden an option? Because I have one more question for Edmund. Oh, got it. Well, make up one on the spot. Okay. okay. That should be easier. What episode in the South was Jennifer's favorite episode? Ridgeway. That so close. <laughs> oh, the Savannah one. Yes. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Edmund, you get number four. Okay. In episode 55, out of Tombstone, Arizona, what was the nationality of the voiceless spirit named Bill? No, don't say anything yet. He's European. True. No. Yeah. Let's narrow okay, it down. At least I've got there. that. Mm -hmm. uh, is he German? Actually, this country is on both continents, Europe and Asia. That's your hint. It's real big. Russia. Yes. yes. Russian Bill. Oh, yeah. Stone. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So. We have Jason. Thank you so much for playing. Stay, <laughs> stay with us. Don't leave. Lisa, you're third in line with 18 Ooh. points. And Kelly and Edmund are going to our speed round now. Oh, crap. I am going to flip a coin. I need someone to call if what, like heads or tails, all right? So, Kelly, you choose. Well, no, 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 no. Jennifer, you oh. choose Kelly's oh. heads, Edmund's tails. Jennifer, you well, choose. Well, what's Lisa? Lisa can't go. It's only two people. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we Lisa. Have this, but stay, Lisa. Stay. For <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Stay. Okay, okay. I think that there's rice aroni for us. <laughs> okay. At least props. At least props. Okay. Ready? Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm flipping. Okay. Heads. It's heads. Kelly, do you want to answer in a speed round where you have one minute? Whether the answers are going to be Jen and Jill or true or false. Jen and Jill. Jen and Jill. Someone, can you please start a timer for one minute and tell me when? Jennifer, yeah. you keep points of everyone she gets right. Oof, okay. Okay, so who's doing the timer? I can do a timer. Thank you, Jason. Tell me when to start. All right. Are you ready, Kelly? Well, Kelly, yeah. doesn't Kelly need to see the questions or no? No. Oh, okay. I'm Got, it. Got it. All right. Sorry. Okay. So we'll start now. Earned two master's degrees. Jen. Is six feet tall. Jill. <laughs> Who is not afraid to fly? Jill. No, that's eh. Jen. Who um, does have a fear of driving over bridges? Jen. Uh, 
Keep going. Uh, uh, who has a husband named Dennis? Jen. Yes. Ding, 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 who, ding. Drove for, who drove for the Russian Bill episode? Jill. No. Uh-uh. Who has two Jill. cats? Who has two cats? Jill. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Who, who has two dogs? Jen. Yes. Ding, 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 who ding, lives ding. on a lake? Jill. Yes. Ding, 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 who has ding, a dog ding. named Bug? Jill. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Thank you, Jason. That's it. You got no. seven correct. Good job, Kelly. That is really good. That is really good. Hey, Jill, All next right. time don't do the dings because you're coming in at the wrong time. Okay, I yeah. won't. Okay. Now, you do the ones for Edmund. Remember, these are true or false. Gotcha. True or false, Edmund. Jason, will you do the timer thing again? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jason. And we'll start now. The girl's father is wanted by the FBI. True or false? False. That's true. Jennifer is the youngest sibling in the family. False. Correct. Grandma Irina spoke four languages. True. That is true. Forest Park, Illinois is the girl's hometown. True. True. Nicole Bigley wrote the foreword for the Common Mystics book. True. True. Jill's husband heard the girls talking shit on an episode about him. True. True. Actually, that was false. It's my husband. Jill okay. usually drives for the episodes. Uh, true. Correct. Uh, the girls have an older sister named Kathy. True. That is false. Uh, the sisters are DNA cousins with Lizzie Borden. False. And time. Time is up. That one was true. Oh, Okay, um, let's give them time to just answer one more question because of the stuff that happened with the internet. Jen, do the last question. Uh, their mother had friends in the Chicago Mafia. Oh, true. true. That is true. Perfect. Well, this was a close game and I am so appreciative. Kelly, you are the winner of the speed round and the Sweet. winner of the 30 Woo-hoo. minute free reading with Jen and Jill. Oh, yes. Ding, 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 ding. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. we can. Okay. Congratulations. Right. I didn't know Thank that you. was the prize. Yes. <laughs> it's a 30 minute reading with Jen and All Jill right. to be claimed in 2024. So you just say, hey, girls, need a reading and we will schedule time with you. Well, let's just do it up yonder. Oh, when, oh, oh yes, oh, yeah. when you come to the Common Mystics yeah. retreat. Yay! <laughs> I love that. I know, I'm so excited. Um, we have four people coming right now. We have Lisa, Edmund, Kelly. Um, we asked for five to be the top. Um, well, if, we have Jason just, on the line. I'm not sure. Jason. If, yeah, come on. Jason, Jason, can you come on up to Michigan in August? We'll talk. Uh, we'll talk. You don't have to answer now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not going to put you on but, the spot. Uh, For three days, we're going to work on an agenda and then give you guys instructions. It's only $350. We're not making money, obviously. We just want to spend time with you guys and yeah. to do. Jen and I have really good ideas for creating d- different rituals, one to release energy and one to bring a manifesting using all of our energy. Mm-hmm. And I'm really excited. So right now we have Lisa, Sarah, Kelly, and Edmund, but we do have the one spot left. Technically, we can invite more people, but I want everyone to feel comfortable in this little cabin. So I think five yeah. we should top it at. Yeah. So, Jason, if you're interested, you're always welcome. Yeah. Uh, August, what, what's the date? <laughs> eight, eight through eight, 11. And I know you have family in the Chicago land area. If you wanted to drive into O'Hare and then someone drive you the rest of the way, that would be great. Otherwise, I can pick you up at the Gerald R. Ford airport in <laughs> in Kalamazoo or you could okay. fly into O'Hare if you don't want to drive into O'Hare oh yeah yeah you could also <laughs> that fly. might be more convenient if you flew if you're gonna go O'Hare. to O'Hare you, you should fly <laughs> take to a it. plane you really should take a plane, yeah, to, take O'Hare. A plane to O'Hare <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say if you're gonna drive to O'Hare what's just come the rest of the way <laughs> yeah. yeah I it's it sounds it sounds great you don't have no to pressure. answer now. Yeah, yeah no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Didn't mean to put I you on like the spot. I know. I do. I feel bad. 
<laughs> like, so are you going? Do you like us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Guys- What's wrong with us, Jason? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with us? <laughs> I see Thank how it you is. guys. All right. So Thank much. You. Thank you so much for being a part of uh-huh. our 100 episode quiz show. Does anyone want to tell the people besides me where they can find us? Oh, you can find them on Apple, Spotify, and all your major platforms. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> Edmund. Yes, thank you, Edmund. You can find their book on Amazon. Ooh. Thank you. Anyone know our email ad- or our, yeah, our email. web address? Oh. Uh, commonmystics.net. Yes. yes. Email address? Commonmystics at gmail.com. Thank you. (laughs) Love you You guys. guys, You guys are awesome. We love you so much. You You make our lives so much better and enrich. Thank you for being a part of this with us. We couldn't do it without you, you, literally. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. I love you guys. Have a good week. Bye bye. 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 This has been a Common Mystics Media production. Editing done by Yokai Audio, Kalamazoo, Michigan.